We discuss in this video the relation of initial objects and limits. The following results can be applied to terminal objects and co-limits by taking the dual statements and proofs. The first result we prove is that if a category I has an initial object 0, then for each diagram D on a category A, the limit of D is the A object D0. For the proof, we observe that each cone PI on D is determined by the morphism P0, since 0 is the initial object in the category I. Therefore, P0 has to be the unique factorization through the cone given by the diagram. Therefore, the limit of D is D0, completing the proof. We also have the following. Suppose D is a functor and lambda is a cone on the identity functor of A with vertex little a. If lambda di is the limit of D, then little a is the initial object of the category A. For the proof, we want to show that lambda x is the unique amorphism to x for each object x in the category A. So given another morphism f, we see that f lambda a is equal to lambda x since lambda is a cone on the identity. Therefore, it is enough to show lambda a is equal to the identity of a. Then again, since lambda is a cone on the identity, lambda di is equal to lambda di lambda a, or lambda di identity a is equal to lambda di lambda a, for each object i in the category i. Then since lambda di is a limit cone on d, it is in particular a monic source, so the lambda di in the above equation cancel on the left, leaving us the identity on a is equal to lambda a, which is what we wanted to show, and therefore f is equal to lambda x, completing this proof. Then as a corollary, we have the limit of the identity functor is equal to the object little i if and only if little i is the initial object of the category i. For the forward direction, we have that the limit cone lambda on the identity giving us little i as the initial object by the above proposition in red. And the reverse direction follows from the blue proposition above, which completes the proof.